Charisse the niece. She was orphaned quite young in a mysterious way. Her parents just up and vanished one day. But Charisse muddled through this most odd circumstance through the generous loving support of her aunt. She stayed for a while with her dear old Aunt Bee till one day when Bugspray wound up in her tea. She was sent way up north to stay with Aunt Flo, who disappeared strangely right after a snow. She stayed with an aunt and her sweet little dog, who Charisse says she saw roll her up like a log. She was then taken in by Aunt Betty Lou, who liked to bake things, and Charisse liked it too. But she dropped a few hints about wanting to stay with her aunt by the sea, who dropped in the next day. Auntie Rose loved her garden, though Charisse despised it, but together one Wednesday they both fertilised it. On a picnic one day, Aunt made round in the river, but what made it much worse was Charisse got a sliver. Aunt Annie and Fanny gave Charisse an aquarium, now the family's discussing just where they should bury them. That winter she went to stay with Aunt Summer. The spring was quite nice, but her fall was a bummer. Aunt Meg painted her in the costume of Cupid, but Charisse made a point that she thought it was stupid. While decking the halls with boughs of holly, the star must have slipped and decked her Aunt Molly. For Charisse it was over. That had been her last chance at a warm, loving family. She was fresh out of ants. They told her the orphanage was where she must go, but Charisse softly uttered, I have uncles, you know. The end. Don't forget to like and subscribe and press the wee bell notification. And a huge big thank you to all my subscribers and patrons. See you next week. Bye bye.